Hey everybody and welcome to Quickies. If you've been wondering how to connect more than one X-Touch control surface to your XR series mixer using Mixing Station, I'm gonna show you how to do that on your network. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Let's go. Okay, the first thing you need to do is set the control mode for both of your X-Touch devices. So to do that, you're gonna hold the select button on your first channel and turn on the device. This brings you into your selection mode. You want your mode to be set to MC for Mackie Control, the interface set to network, the network mode is set to slave, and then you need to set a port. On my first device, I'm gonna set my port to 5004, and on this second device, I'm gonna set the port to 5006. The other thing you need to do under network mode is scroll over to DHCP. DHCP will assign you an address automatically based on your network. If you don't know what your network is and you don't want to have to try to figure out a static address, you're going to leave DHCP as on. If you do know your network setup and you want to set static IPs, you're going to set this to off and then you can set your IP statically. But again, if you don't know what that is, just leave it on DHCP set to on. Once you've done that on both devices, you're going to select the first button again, and now each device is in the correct mode. Okay, the very next thing you're going to do is you're going to set up RTP MIDI on your computer. To get RTP MIDI, you go to this address here and click on download RTP MIDI. I will have this linked for you, so make sure you go and do that. Once you've downloaded RTP MIDI, you're going to open the software. And what you have to do is you have to set up two connections. So under my sessions, we're going to click the plus, and this is the computer we're running it on. So I'm going to enable that. And under this one, we need to set a profile for one of our two X touches. So we might as well start with the one that's going to be on the left. So likely our channel is one through eight. So down here in directory, I'm going to click plus, which will open this window. And we're going to name this X touch one and we're going to give it an IP address. Now, if you have set your devices correctly, you will be able to see the IP address of each device in the scribble strips. So my first one is actually 192.168.0.196. And we know that the port is set to 5400 because that's what we did. Oh, I'm sorry. Not 5,400, 5,004. And we're going to click OK. So that is now the profile of our X-Touch one under our first desktop. We're going to click another one. So you can see it's the same desktop name, but they put a one at the end. We're going to enable that one as well. And under this one, we're going to set up another profile. We're going to call this X-Touch 2. And <clears throat> we know that... The IP address is 192.168.0.197. And the port for this one is set to 5006. And you can actually see this reflected over here as well. That's why I chose 5006 for setting up the second device because it's what the port number automatically jumps to when you set up a second profile here. So with those two profiles set up, we can now connect our devices. So I'm going to choose the first profile, choose the first X-Touch one, and hit connect. There we go. It took a second, but it's connected. And you can't see it, but if you could see the full scribble strips on that one, you'd notice that the IP address has disappeared. It's now just active and waiting for information. So let's choose our second desktop profile, our X-Touch 2, and hit connect. And now it's connected and you can see here in these scribble strips that the same thing has happened. The IP address has disappeared and we're waiting for connection. Now that both devices are connected and waiting for input, we can put this window to the side and we're gonna come into mixing station. Now I'm gonna assume that your mixer is already on your network and connected. If it's not, make sure you get it set up. Once it's there, you can do a search in mixing station. I found it and I'm gonna connect, okay. We're in our layout. Now, what we need to do is go into the settings cog, and under the app, we want to make sure that MIDI support is turned on. Once we've done that, we're going to come to the MIDI tab, 
we're going to click new device. We're going to name this left XTouch and then set it to XTouch MCU. Under input, we are going to change it to desktop, not the desktop with the one at the end, the desktop, as that's our first profile. Now we're going to leave the offset as zero. That means that our left device will show channels one through eight. And then we're going to click apply. Now this has come to life. You can hear the motors are making noise now and you can see channel information in the scribble strips. So let's do the same thing. We're going to call this right X touch, set it to X touch MCU. And we're going to choose our desktop profile with the one at the end. Now, this is the important part. Offset needs to be set to eight. That means the first eight channels are taken up on the left device. And then the next eight logical channels, which are nine to 16, will show up on this device. Once we've made those selections, click apply. And now we have nine through 16 on these channel strips. So if we come back to the main view, you can see that I now have control of the first eight channels on this device and then the second eight channels on this device. Now, what we don't have on either is master fader control. You can decide where you want that and then come back into the cog, go back into MIDI, choose the device you want. I'm going to choose the right device. So just click on it and it will open this. I'm going to click on find controller and then I'm going to move the master fader. So fader nine is the one we want. Come over here to add action, click on it, go to current channel, select bus master channel, and then over here, select main and leave it on fader. Once we've done that, we can go back out. And if we go back to our main view, you can see that I now have control of the master fader. Now, just one last view for you to see um, so that you know we are actually controlling the XR. I've made this window smaller of mixing station and I also have my XR edit window open. So you can see that when I make a change over here or over here, we're seeing it in both windows in real time. There's our master fader. So we know that everything we did worked. Well, friends, there you go. That's how to connect two X touches to your XR mixer using mixing station over your network. I know that was a mouthful, but we did it. We got there. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please do all the usual stuff, which is like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out on Patreon, or you can join this channel down below through YouTube. If you can do any of those things, it really helps us out a huge amount. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here in Quick and Easy Quickies. Bye, everybody.